Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Computing Models. In this lecture, we're going to take a look at the public cloud model, the private cloud model, and the hybrid model. We'll review the properties of each as well as the benefits of each. Let's start with public cloud. The public cloud model is the most common cloud deployment model available. In the public cloud model, the organization has no local hardware to manage or maintain. All resources and services run on the hardware that is supported by the cloud provider. The IT infrastructure, including hardware, servers, and software, resides somewhere other than the on-prem data center, and it's all managed by the cloud provider. There are two different types of public cloud. They include the shared public cloud and the dedicated public cloud. A shared public cloud allows customers of a cloud service provider to share common resources within that provider's environment. That being said, each customer can only see its own tenant. The cloud provider is the only one that can see all of the different tenants. And it's this cloud provider that manages the multi-tenant environment. The shared public cloud model is often a good choice for smaller businesses because by sharing resources with other customers, it helps them save on costs. A dedicated public cloud is typically reserved for larger enterprise organizations. This model features a dedicated physical infrastructure that's reserved for that organization only. Although the costs that are associated with a dedicated public cloud are often higher than those of a shared public cloud, a dedicated public cloud will often offer better security, performance, and customization. Some key advantages of the public cloud model include lower costs and no maintenance requirements. Public cloud costs are lower because there's no need to purchase hardware or software. The ability to pay as you go also contributes to the reduced costs. Public clouds also offer near unlimited scalability. This means that you can automatically provision on demand resources as you need them. And last but not least, public clouds offer high reliability because they rely on a large network of underlying hardware. A private cloud is a cloud environment that you deploy into your own data center. You manage the cloud hardware and you provide self-service access to your compute resources to the users within your organization. A private cloud is essentially a simulation of a public cloud as far as your users are concerned. However, your organization is 100% responsible for the purchase and maintenance of the underlying hardware and the services you provide. Private clouds offer more flexibility over their public counterparts because they can be customized to meet specific business needs. And because the resources within a private cloud are not shared with other organizations, they offer improved security as well. Private clouds also offer similar scalability and efficiency to that of a public cloud. A hybrid cloud is essentially a combination of a public and private cloud. Hybrid clouds allow organizations to run their applications in whichever location is most appropriate. A typical use case for a hybrid cloud would be a situation where an organization wants to host a public-facing website in the public cloud that connects back to a secure database that's hosted in the private cloud, or even in an on-prem data center for that matter. Organizations will often deploy hybrid clouds when they need to protect sensitive data or when they wish to extend the capabilities of their on-prem systems. For example, an organization that needs to run an application that will only run on an older OS or on older hardware might opt to keep the old system running locally, but connect it to the public cloud for authorization or for storage. Hybrid clouds can also be used to reduce data protection costs. For example, if your organization needs to deploy a PKI or an information rights management infrastructure to protect its data, the cost of doing so locally could be quite high. However, enabling these features from the cloud allows you to protect both your cloud and on-prem data and documents. Some key advantages of the hybrid cloud model include increased control, the ability to leverage resources in the public cloud only when they're needed, and a cost-effective way to scale out to the cloud when needed. A hybrid cloud also eases the transition of your workloads to the cloud. 
However, there are a few caveats to consider when thinking about deploying a hybrid cloud. Not only is a hybrid more complicated to set up and manage, but it's also more expensive than choosing just one model, whether it's public or private. So keep that in mind.